Shabbat Shalom. My name is Ali Karpel, and I am the WRJ RAC Reproductive Health and Rights Campaign Associate. In the 15 months since I've been in this role, I've been privileged to lead the reform movement's advocacy work surrounding reproductive health and rights on a local, state, and federal level. In these last 15 months, we've had both wins and losses, moments of pride, disappointment, despair, and a whole lot of fun in between. One thing is for certain though, I owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to WRJ and WRJ women whose philanthropic efforts through the YES Fund enable me to get to do the work that I love every single day. In many ways, I trace my WRJ journey back to my summers at URJ Green Family Camp and NIFTI, both of which receive support through the YES Fund. But today, I wanna to speak to you specifically about how the YES Fund has equipped me with the tools to be a leader in the struggle for a more just and compassionate world through my positions at the Religious Action Center. Each year, the YES Fund covers the position of one Eisendrath Legislative Assistant at the RAC. I was honored to serve as the WRJLA in 2018-2019, where I was responsible for advancing advocacy efforts around some of WRJ's top issues, including reproductive rights, gender-based violence, pay equity, paid leave, hunger, homelessness, workers' rights, and disability rights. It's well known that being a RAC LA is a first-time job like no other. At age 22, I was leading lobby visits on Capitol Hill, speaking on panels with legal, policy, and religious experts, and writing regulatory comments on behalf of the entire Reform Jewish movement. Thanks to the fund that covers this position, I was able to mobilize over 500 Reform Jews, including WRJ women, clergy, high school and college students, to submit comments to the U.S. Department of Education, urging them to rescind their harmful policy to roll back protections for student survivors of sexual harassment and violence on their campuses. I was able to co-chair the ninth annual Jewish Disability Advocacy Day, a day where nearly 300 Jews with disabilities and their allies convene in Washington, D.C. for a day of education and advocacy surrounding reproductive rights. I led a task force of members of the Commission on Social Action and Reform Judaism to examine 21st century labor issues, particularly issues that disproportionately impact women. And I was able to lead countless faith and secular coalition letters and lobby visits to protect the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, otherwise known as SNAP. The spring of my LA year, we witnessed a surge in draconian abortion restrictions. Many of these restrictions banned abortion at six weeks, before most people even know they're pregnant. I was working to cover reproductive rights advocacy at the federal level, but it became abundantly clear that we lacked the infrastructure to fight these attacks that were largely happening on a state level. That May, May 2019, at the inaugural WRJ Social Justice Conference, WRJ and the RAC announced the launch of a joint campaign, a historic partnership that would give us the power and the personnel to mobilize Reform Jews to fight these attacks on human dignity. I was fortunate that I was hired to staff this campaign upon the conclusion of my LA year that August. As I mentioned before, in the 15 months since I've been in this role, we've been able to accomplish so much together. Pre-pandemic, I was able to travel to visit various sisterhoods all across the country to educate and energize WRJ women to build relationships with the reproductive health, rights, and justice organizations in their own communities. The first of such travels took me to a sisterhood Shabbat in Madison, Wisconsin. The most memorable part of that trip came at a Shabbat boarding lunch where several women gathered together, dozens of women gathered together to share about why they personally had a stake in what was unfolding across the country. By the end of the lunch, three of the dozens of women at the table had shared their personal abortion stories, two of whom had never talked about 
her abortion out loud to anyone before. To me, that's part of the beauty of this campaign. Not only have we fought abortion bans and advocated for contraceptive benefits, raised awareness that people of faith are not a monolith when it comes to issues like sexuality and reproduction, but we've also been able to dispel stigma about these issues within the walls of our own communities. Another highlight from this year has been working with several sisterhoods in Massachusetts to advocate for the Roe Act, proactive legislation that would expand abortion access and make reproductive health care more equitable. Though many of the in-person advocacy efforts were put on hold due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it's been so amazing to watch these sisterhoods continue to do this important work virtually. As we look ahead to what a post-2020 election world may look like, there's a lot of uncertainty. But thanks to the YES Fund and generous WRJ women like you, I feel confident that we'll be able to continue to do this important work, the work of bringing about a more whole, a more just, more equitable, and more compassionate world in the weeks, months, and years ahead. Thank you, and Shabbat Shalom.